good while now um, various times we've had people pull in the driveway um, ask questions like this one time someone asked me if I wanted to sell my solar panels no people asked if I want to sell my pigs no so to prevent some of that stuff um, we wanted to get a gate out front one that could uh, open and close with a push button might have a key code you know a, a nice looking gate so we had a quote from a guy, and I was just shocked, absolutely shocked by the price. So he, it, the gate's going to be 18 foot, two nine foot gates um, with the gate opener. He wanted 8,500 bucks. For those that build gates, for those that are professional welders, that might be appropriate. But for me, as a homeowner, and I know how to weld, I can fabricate, I know kind of what I'm doing. That was way too expensive. So, I'll do it myself, like we do everything else around here at the farm, which is perfectly fine. Um, I, I love doing it, I love learning uh, new things. Never built a gate before, but we're about to figure it out. It's not gonna be elaborate, just gonna be two square gates. Um, but yeah, so follow along and uh, see how it goes. So this is the material that we bought. These are four by four by eight foot and they're quarter inch thickness. These are two by three at nine foot quarter inch thickness. Same thing, two by three quarter inch thickness, except these are five foot. These are four by four pieces. I got a bunch of pickets. Just give you an idea what this is going to look like. I'm going to have two by four by four, two four by fours attached three different spots with those, and these are going to be in the ground. Something like that. Okay, so imagine this is the ground. And it's going to have a top on it. So now the gate is going to attach here. So here is my five foot pieces. Okay. There's my nine foot pieces. And then my other nine foot piece, because I got three for each side. I might take it maybe probably not in the middle, probably like at 60%. Something along that. And then my pickets. And I'm gonna do this twice. Okay, so I'm about to cut these two by threes. And let me show you what I got going on here. Got the saw set up. I got two old batteries to keep it from moving. And I got another old battery right here. And just some extra pieces. So this is my stop block. This is exactly eight foot, six inches. And I got another height block here. So that is the same height as the saw so that'll keep me from having to, uh, it'll keep it level and everything that's the idea so let's get these cut up So in this step, I need to clean up these edges. This one's not too bad, but some of them look like this right here. So instead of having to put it in a vise, take the flapper disc to it on the from the grinder, I'm gonna just use the finish grinder.
pretty quick. All right, got all of those done. This is the bad end. So the good end's down here. I'm gonna cut this end off with the saw. So I got all these ends cleaned up for the 30 inch pickets. This is my two by three by five foot pieces. Got these ends cleaned up and put a slight bevel on them. So now I'm gonna pre-assemble the majority of it. So I'm gonna put this uh, five foot piece up. Um, this two by three foot piece on. And then the 30 inch pickets, the other two by three inch piece on and then the bottom one. I'm not gonna rely on my original measurement of 21 inches, which I think that's what it should be, but it might be, you know, 20 and three quarters. So I don't wanna cut all of these, then have to go back and recut them. So I'm gonna assemble everything. And this is my last variable so far. And uh, once I get this measurement, then I'll be able to cut these and set it in place. So let's get this somewhat assembled. Already, I'm already seeing a problem. You can kind of tell that's laying flat on the concrete and that side is not. I'm like, oh crap, that piece of metal is bowed, but you know, that's highly unlikely. But then look, that one's bowed. Well, not bowed, but off the ground. So this one, so that tells me this little piece of concrete, which when we built this, we did kind of slope it so the water would run out their garage door. So I might have to shift this over to find me a good level spot. Then we'll get her kind of mocked up. So here's my first look at it. So the pickets aren't spaced appropriately. They're gonna be spaced at six inches apart. Take a look at it. So now I'm gonna measure this uh, bottom section, square everything up first, measure the bottom section and then I'm gonna cut all those little pickets right there to the appropriate size. Ooh, I'm excited. It's looking good. So here's all the pickets um, spaced out correctly. But right now, um, nothing's welded or attacked or anything. So right now I'm gonna try to square this up and you can see right now, it is absolutely perfect. It is perfect. Like no gap, no gap. So, while being perfect, I've got the old trusty batteries out here, making sure it doesn't, doesn't move. I'm gonna square everything else up, then I'm gonna measure this uh, open side for the rest of the pickets. Got everything perfectly square. So this center section, or the open section, is 20 and 5 eighths, which I'm glad I didn't go by my 21 inch mark because that would have been off. I did have to remove some of the ones in the middle, some of the longer 
uh, pickets because they were acting as a pivot point. So I'd square that end up, it would pivot in the center, and this one would be off. So I'm gonna have to trim those down just a little bit. But 20 and 5 eighths is the length of the smaller pickets. I got my stop block set up here. So 25 eighths, I'm gonna work on getting all of these cut and then cleaned up.